And now more with Ryan Connor. So uh, most comics will have a website, which will be like whatever their name is, .com. I had to get RyanConnorComedy.com, though, because RyanConnor.com is already taken by a famous porn star that shares my name. Then to make the situation worse, it's a female porn star. <laughs> then to add another level to it is if we're necessary, she specializes in a Like her most famous movies are called The Ass Half Full, Stop My Ass Is On Fire, and Mayhem 5, which is like, really, how did you get to part 5 in the Mayhem series? Like, where is the demand for the Mayhem movies? Like, I think you could ask every guy in the world, hey, what's the last thing you'd ever want to see in a porn? They'd be like, uh, Mayhem slash Chaos. Like, I've never seen the movies, but I'm picturing, like, maybe there's a random sex act going on in the corner, but you can't focus on it because there's a swarm of bees flying around the set or something. <laughs> Everything's out of focus because the cameraman's being chased by a guy with a chainsaw who's just yelling random shit, like, Chick-fil-A ain't open on Sundays, and that ain't right. Like, that donkey ain't a time machine. I'm like, I can't focus with all this mayhem. Less mayhem, more hypothetically. <laughs> but... Because of this porn star, now it makes things hard for me if someone wants to get information on me on the internet because they type my name into Google and the first result is always something like, you'll be amazed as Ryan Connor takes two guys at once. <laughs> because my mom saw that <laughs> and it was like two years ago and she didn't know I did comedy at the time and she's not going to click on it to find out it's not me because she's my mom. She doesn't want to see me take two guys at once. <laughs> So she just assumed it was true. She calls me up one night, panicked, almost crying. This is how she found out I did comedy. She calls me up because, oh, Mariah, uh, I found out what you're into. I was like, well, Mom, how do you feel about it? And, uh, she's like, well, uh, I don't approve. I was like, what do you mean you don't approve? I finally found something I'm good at. <laughs> it's, it's something I enjoy doing. Why can't you just support me? And, uh, and then she goes, I don't know, I guess I just think two at once is a little overindulgent. <laughs> Which, looking back on it, that is a weird thing for my mom to say <laughs> about me being <laughs> by multiple guys. But I guess she was trying to be supportive. <laughs> but I thought she'd been checking my website, so I was doing multiple shows each night. So I just responded, Mom, I have to take as many as I can, all right? <laughs> That's the only way to get better in this business. <laughs> So uh, <laughs> I, I, I used to have this job in D.C. working for this Department of Defense contractor where we make combat simulators for the military. So whenever they get into a combat specific situation, they run the simulator, they know how to react. But this thing is essentially like a war video game, so you know there's going to be some weird people working there. There's this one guy named Drew who was just above and beyond everyone else. He used to walk around work every day like this carrying a bow staff, like he's Gandalf from Lord of the Rings or something. <laughs> Just walking around like, I'm at work, why wouldn't I have my bow staff? <laughs> and the weird thing is no one questioned it for three years. Finally my boss, I'm sorry, three months. Wow, it would be really weird if it was three years. And uh, so my boss asked him, and it turns out he carried it because he played this game called LARP, which stands for Live Action Role Playing, which is like, uh, which is like Dungeons and Dragons and Magic the Gathering. It's like that, except instead of being played in high school cafeterias, it's played in the real world. <laughs> Like 24 hours a day, he's in this game with like 20 of his friends that he has somehow made. And they're, it's like, it's, it's, it's basically just a collection of employees of GameStop. And, and, and there are these weird characters like wizards, warlocks, dragon masters, vampires. One of them is Cindy Lauper, but he's a so I don't have the heart to tell him that she wasn't a mythical beast. And everything is crazy and something weird would happen with this guy every day but the worst day it was like middle of the day he comes up from behind me at work and goes um ryan uh i bet i can take you in a sword fight i was like yeah man uh unless i have a gun you're winning that one i've never even held a sword before no hesitation at all he goes actually even if you had a gun i would still win because i'm a master swordsman so i just deflect all the bullets with my sword I was like, oh my God, Drew, did I just hear you correctly? He was like, yes. I was like, Drew, we gotta make this happen. <laughs> That's it, it's on. So we set up a meeting for that weekend at a park to do battle. I didn't want anyone to get hurt though, so I said, I'll bring a paintball gun. But I was like, screw it, Drew, bring a sword, try to cut me up. I'll even sign a waiver that says, if Drew kills me today, it's cool, we had a bet. <laughs> so, 
so we start like 20 yards apart. I'm here. Drew's over there. My friend Glenn is over here refing or whatever you call someone who administers warlock battles. <laughs> <laughs> And, and I am so confident because all I have to do is this and I win. Whereas not only does he have to run 20 yards, he has to get over the mental hurdle of murdering a human. So I'm so confident. Like if I didn't know he had a secret weapon waiting for me. So anyway, my friend Glenn's like, ready, set, go. As soon as he says go, I shoot Drew in the chest five times before he can even move. I start to w walk away because I'm thinking victory. I look up, Drew is running at me like this with a sword. I'm like, what are you doing, Drew? He goes, they bounced off my force field. It just keeps coming at me. So I just start shooting him in the face over and over. So eventually he falls from all the paint in his eyes. And then once he was down, I just ran up and started kicking the shit out of him until he was unconscious. So long story short, now I'm like a level nine sorcerer. <laughs> right after the break, the Sierra Mist Local Comedian of the Week. <laughs> 